for a moment, I felt weightless. I saw white. It was all white in front of me. He was lifting me high, facing the white ceiling of a tailoring shop in the garden. Until now, I can clearly remember. It was my father who was lifting me high. Maybe I was just two years old then. As a child, daydreaming was my pastime. I set my mind that one day I will meet my prince and will live happily ever after. Perhaps my parents' failed relationship drove me to a goal that one day I will meet my prince and have my own perfect family. I started my search at a very young age. I was just a teenager then who did not know what real love was. I was emotionally and verbally abused by my first boyfriend for almost eight years. The next guy I fell in love with left me because I was immature. He left me when my father died, where I spent days crying. I had no shoulder to cry on when I saw in the news that my brother was murdered in Kiapo. That day, I promised to myself that I will never love a good guy anymore. I became a guy whom I thought would ease my pain. With him, it was like living in another world. But then he left. So I decided to move to Qatar. But there goes a series of failed relationships. Assyrian Jews, Assyrian Jews, a Palestinian, a Palestinian Muslim, a Lebanese Muslim, a Lebanese Muslim, Muslim whom I found out was married, a successful, a successful Lebanese, Lebanese, Lebanese Orthodox, Orthodox, who happens to, who be, happens engaged. to be engaged, and finally, a Lebanese, a Lebanese Catholic, Catholic who broke, up, who with broke up with after Valentine's Day. Pain. It was all pain. I even had a tattoo at my back to feel physical pain and forget about how my heart hurts. Unfortunately, heart aches over through those seven needles. Then I recall what my father used to say. Pia, sit still and think. So I decided to get away and try my luck in Singapore. A friend and a former classmate found out that I am here in Singapore. She invited me to the church, but I told her I'm not ready to be good and have a new life. But her prayers and fasting were too strong. She invited me to a birthday party. It was actually a combined care group. The birthday girl is now my shepherd. The first time I went to the church, it was like a pocket concert and Oktoberfest. All my questions were answered about what went wrong in my life during that Sunday service. I'm so amazed with God's Word. It is exactly what I needed during that time. After receiving Christ in my life, God's words are now my stress and pain reliever. I just can't get enough of Him. My day starts and ends with the Lord. I am now complete. I find my happiness by being involved in care group and serving the church through the ushering ministry. I even discovered my talents to bring glory to God. Lastly, my quest for love is over. I found not only the Prince, but the king. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first 
loved us. <laughs>